Go talk to him. I'll wait for you here. You must be seeking refuge with the International Trade Association. <sighs> the Outlander Affairs Agency took you for all your worth, I suppose. Ah, good. That's a relief. <sighs> you need to be careful, or you'll find yourself losing your savings all at once. We heard the Association has been having some difficulties lately. Is that true? Yes. Left, right, and center. Obstacles at every turn. But that's nothing new for us. The Sakoku Decree certainly makes things difficult for anyone who wants to come here from overseas. But it's not the root cause of our woes. The Sakoku Decree might restrict our scope of activity, but in and of itself, it doesn't stop us from being able to enjoy a comfortable existence. No. What's really squeezing us Outlander merchants dry is those Mora Grubbers from the Kanjo Commission. Of the three commissions, that's the one that oversees everything on retail, isn't it? That's right. They impose astronomical tax rate, unbelievable regulations, and that's not the worst of it. They just issued a new tax decree recently that, for some reason, completely changes the way we pay our taxes. It used to be Mora, but now it's something called Crystal Marrow. Crystal Marrow? What's that? Uh, something that most of us in the association had never heard of before either, until the new decree came along. Eventually, one of the older Liyue merchants recalled that he once shipped a batch of it to Snezhnaya in his youth. So, in order to pay our taxes, we began an arduous search for this crystal marrow. But then we found we'd only managed to create a bigger problem for ourselves. The rising demand for crystal marrow drove the price higher and higher. <sighs> Now there's only one vendor who even has it in stock. We can't get a hold of it anywhere else. Uh, isn't that what they call a monopoly? Exactly. So this vendor keeps pushing the price up, and we have no choice but to buy from them because the tax decree forces us to. It's a vicious cycle, the consequence of which is that our taxes will soon exceed our profits. And once that happens... <sighs> We've tried communicating with the Commission directly, but this is a nation where the cries of a few struggling merchants will never be heard over the ever-present roar of thunder. <sighs> Montaigne, my dear homeland. I miss you an awful lot at the moment. Sounds awful. They're really bleeding them dry. What do you think we should do? But Chris is the head of the association, and even he hasn't had any luck. Not to mention, we're outlanders too. <sighs> right, and besides, I think this may well be the fate they've ordained for us. Okay, well, we could try tackling the problem by going to the other party involved. <sighs> that vendor... I've actually done business with him in the past, but after a point he stopped contacting us. I have no idea where he sources the stuff. Hmm. Well, it definitely sounds like he's being unfair. How do we find him? We could go talk to him and see if he lets anything slip. Hey, that's a pretty good idea. Since you're not affiliated with the association and you're new to Rito, we may just let his guard down. <sighs> if I remember correctly, our usual meeting point with him is under a tree by the coast in the residential district. See if you can find him there. <laughs> 